Howdy guys, it's Luke at Luke's APS and in this video, let's just get simple. Let's simplify things. I'll see you after this. <laughs> Washers, okay? Since starting in the channel, I've done a couple of like how to emulate null, no null oil and how to make your own miniature washers. And the constant questions I keep getting asked is, it's, you know, it's not working. How much medium to ink do I need? Um, how much flow aid do I need to put in? And the real answer to that question is, it depends what you're going for. You need to learn what each element of that wash does. So this video is going to take you like take you right back to the beginning and I'm going to show you how to make it simple because there's only two elements to this, okay? You can't really get it wrong because you can see whether it's working from the start. And once you start to learn how this works, you can start adding things like mediums and flowids to get your desired need. Right guys, so we're going to be using artist inks. The you can find them anywhere, any sort of arts and craft shop. They're about five or a bottle, um, and they'll last you for a very long time. Now, when you're new to making your own washers, um, make sure that you've used a wash first, so you have a basic understanding of how it should work. Once you've bought your inks and you're going to sort of try and emulate what you've been using, get yourself a palette. Now the reason you want a palette is so you can try the ink on the palette rather than mix it in a cup because when you mix it in a cup you have you don't know where it's going to be working like if you've got a palette you can sort of keep trying it on your palette till you're happy with the finish um, and that's what I did when I was trying to figure out what each component did you sort of like pre-practicing before you try it on your model you see now this is the model we're going to be trying it on. This is just going to be mixing water and ink together so we can understand how much water you need to add to the pigment to get your desired finish. So move it around on your palette and play with it till you get the sort of transparency that you're after. Ink straight out of the pot when you've got a very tiny amount on your brush will appear quite transparent but you're not applying it like that to the model, you just tend to bath it over. So when you're testing it, keep adding a bit of water and like bath it on an area of your palette and that way you can sort of feel the consistency of the ink. It's quite hard to show, um, but you'll once you've done it a couple of times and you've tried your washers that you've got uh, and you're trying to emulate them, you'll get a rough consistency by doing that once you get to that point you've tried it and you think that looks quite nice as you can see how it's working on the palette try that on your model now as you're trying this on the model you will find that it goes on quite well okay the only thing that you might find with just using ink and water it will tend to just run into the recesses you won't get much surface tension using just ink and water but it can have a very nice effect because it doesn't change the colour of the surface too much. So if you do want to just play with this and try and perfect just using the inks and the water, it's a very good way of learning how the water and the pigments work together to get a nice wash. Now once that's nearly dry, you'll see how it's setting. I mean, there's a bit of pooling on the head. Well, on the shield, it's all dropped to the bottom, um, and that's because it's got no surface tension as such. The way that you add that is by using uh, acrylic medium. Okay, so if you're not happy with that look and you can't achieve a look that you want just using inks and water, get your matte medium or gloss medium, whichever one you want to use, depending on the finish that you're after, and put the ink in a small amount of medium. Keep adding like a brush full of ink to that medium till you get the sort of colour that you want. However, it will change the colour slightly um, because obviously the medium's white, but it does dry clear, so don't worry about that. But get it roughly the same colour and that will translate afterwards. Now you will feel it will feel quite different on the palette. It'll feel more like it's got a sort of body of a of a paint. Um, but as you can see, it's not trying to move away from the palette and that's because it's got the acrylic medium in it and as you'll see on this model as you paint it on it's not running all over the place and like pooling um, and adding that medium just gives you that sort of wash finish that you, you used to like using 
um, Agrax Earthshade or Null Noil. Now, when you apply just medium and ink like this, it will change the overall colour of the model. Now, if you wanted to not change the overall colour of the model and just go into the recesses, this is where you'd add like a drop of flow aid. However, most people will just want a wash that does this, like what they used to from like Games Workshop. So that is literally all washes are, and that's the main ingredients. And if you if you do it this way, it should show, you should learn yourself what each component does, and you'll get a nice understanding of how to make your own washes. So guys, as you saw, it's a very simple, very quick video. Um, using just the ink with water will make you understand how it's working, okay? You can see how the pigment and the water is working together. You can see if you've watered it down far too much. Because there's less things mixed in it, you know when you've added too much water or you just add a bit more pigment to it. It's very simple. And once you start feeling like you need to add a bit more body to it, um, you can start playing with your mediums and then you'll realise that it's not going into the recesses easy. So then you're like, oh, I'll drop a bit of flow aid in. Simplify things. If you just chuck three ingredients together and you don't know how they work, you'll never really understand how they work. So start at the beginning, learn how ink works in water. Once you start getting used to getting a good effect with that, add a bit of medium. If you start then getting better results and you're getting, oh, I like this, but you're thinking, oh, it could go into the recesses a little bit more. Just add a drop of flow aid. And it's as simple as that. It's just learning what each component does and simplifying it down to the bare bones and just using inks and water will help you understand how much pigment to mediums and waters you'll need. I hope this video has been helpful and this is one reason why I don't do ratios because I... I make stronger washes for certain stuff. I make lighter washes. I make washes that sort of taint um, the base colour. I make washes that just fall into the recesses. Depending on what look I'm after, I mix a wash to fit my need rather than trying to just make a generic wash. And that's why I like making my own washes. And I hope this video is, will teach far more people what each thing does so you can just start thinking for yourself and not need these ratios as such there's no point having a ballpark figure of what you need to learn with because if you don't know what them three things are doing you're never going to learn so just learn with the basic ingredients i know it's a simple video but i hope this helps some people out and you know if you've got any questions at all do bang in the comments below guys so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and i'll see you again for the next video love love love